Compound interest is a type of interest that is calculated on the principal and the accumulated interest. Compound interest is basically interest on interest and is therefore the kind of interest that you would want to receive in an investment, but not the kind of interest that you'd want to pay. Compound interest is different than simple interest as simple interest is calculated on the principal only and therefore the amount of interest earned or paid is the same every period. Suppose you invested $1,000 in an investment that earned 10% compound interest and interest was compounded annually. After one year, your investment would earn $100 in interest. However, the second year, your investment would earn $110 in interest. Why? Because your investment is earning interest on interest. Therefore, in the second year, it earned 10% interest on both the $1,000 principal and the $100 in interest accumulated from the previous year. So in the third year, your investment would have earned $121 in interest, which is 10% of the $1,000 principal and the $210 in accumulated interest from the previous two years. Since interest is compounding, the amount of interest earned each year increases over the life of the investment. The formula to solve the amount of interest earned or paid in an investment or a loan is shown here. This formula could also be written as future value minus present value, which would give you the amount of interest that has been earned or paid in a loan or an investment. Suppose you invested $1,000 in an investment that earned compound interest at a rate of 10%. How much interest would you earn if you held this investment for five years? Let's plug in our figures into the compound interest formula to find out. Note, if your interest rate is expressed as a percentage, then it needs to be divided by 100 so that it can be expressed as a decimal in the formula. So we would divide our 10% by 100, giving us a rate of 0 0.10. So our principal is $1,000. Our interest rate per compounding period is 0 0.10 or 10%. And the number of compounding periods is five years. We plug these values into our formula and we find that we've earned $610.51 in interest. If this same investment earned simple interest, you would have only earned $500 in interest, which is $110.51 less. Now you can see why compound interest is the kind of interest you would like to receive on an investment. Compound interest and intra-year compounding. Many loans and investments have multiple compounding periods within a single year. For example, an investment or a loan that compounds interest semi-annually means that interest is compounded every six months or twice per year. If interest is compounded monthly, then there are 12 compounding periods per year, which is every month. All else equal, the more compounding periods per year, the more interest earned or paid. Let's try another example. Suppose you invested $1,000 in a fund that earned compound interest of 10% and interest was compounded semi-annually or twice per year. How much interest would you earn if you held this investment for five years? Remember the variables for the compound interest formula, principal, interest, and the number of compounding periods? Well, since interest is compounded semi-annually, we need to make some minor calculations to the interest rate per compounding period and the number of compounding periods over the life of the investment. First, we need to figure out the interest rate per compounding period. We do this by dividing the annual interest rate by the number of compounding periods per year. Since the annual interest rate is 10% and interest is compounded semi-annually, we would divide 10% by two giving us a rate of 5% per compounding period. Next, we would need to solve for the total number of compounding periods. We do this by multiplying the number of years by the number of compounding periods per year. So we would multiply five years by two since interest is compounded semi-annually. Since five times two equals 10, 
the number of compounding periods in our investment is 10. Our principal remains the same at $1,000. Now that we have solved the interest rate per compounding period and the number of compounding periods, we can plug our figures into the compound interest formula. Remember, if the interest rate is expressed as a percentage, then it needs to be divided by 100 so that it is expressed as a decimal. So our principal is $1,000. Our interest per compounding period is 5% or 0 0.05. And the number of compounding periods is 10. So we plug these figures into our formula and we'd find that we would earn $628.89 in interest, which is $18.38 more than the $610.51 in interest earned from the investment that compounded interest annually. What if you invested $1,000 in an investment that earned 10% interest compounded monthly and held it for five years? How much interest would your investment earn? Just to make the proper calculations to the interest rate and the number of compounding periods and plug your values into the compound interest formula. Our principal is $1,000. Our interest rate per compounding period is 0 0.00833333 and our number of compounding periods is 60. So if we plug this into the formula, we'll find that we earned $645.31 in interest, which is $16.42 more than the semi-annual investment and $34.80 more than the same loan that compounded interest annually. As I stated earlier, with all else equal, more compounding periods means more interest. Compound interest can greatly increase the amount of interest earned in an investment. If you were to invest $100,000 in an account that earned 10% simple interest that compounded annually, your investment would be worth $200,000 in 10 years. However, if you invested $100,000 in an investment that earned 10% interest per year, but interest was compounded, your investment would be worth $259,374.25. This is $59,374.25 more in interest than if it were to have earned simple interest. That's a significant amount of money. This significance would only get bigger the longer this investment is held since investments that earn compound interest grow exponentially. As you can see, compound interest can be a huge benefit to a person's savings for retirement, especially if they invest while they're young. If a 25-year-old person were to invest $5,000 in a fund that earns an annual interest rate of 8% per year and didn't cash out until they were 65 years old, their $5,000 investment would have grown to $108,622.60. That's a lot of money for such a small investment. Just imagine if they continued to invest into the same fund over the years. If they were to invest only an additional $100 per month, their investment would be worth around $400,000 by the time they turned 65. Now you should have a good understanding of just how powerful compounding interest can be. Make sure that you're on the good side of it with investments, not on the bad side with loans. Hey, I really appreciate you coming to watch my video, but please help me help you by subscribing to my channel, sharing our videos, rating and commenting, and then please also visit my websites at subjectmoney.com and excelfornoobs.com for written versions of these tutorials. Please also don't forget to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.